Trey. Uh, you, you've been on some kind of run. What was it like out there today? Um, it was an adrenaline rush, to be honest. Uh, you know, just kept going out there battling. Um, you know, they have a good lineup. You know, it was tough getting some of those guys out. But, uh, you know, most of all, I just want to give credit to these hitters today. You know, they picked us up today, and, uh, you know, we got the win. And it was very, I mean, in a clutch situation, too, late in the game. And they did a great job. How fired up were you out there today? <laughs> uh, I think my gestures showed it. But, uh, I mean, fist bumps almost every, after every inning. Uh, I was, I mean, I was riled up. I was ready to go, you know. Intensity, adrenaline going, trying to get the rest of the team pumped up. Uh, but I mean, that's just how we play. You know, we play intense. You know, you can ask Bernie, you can ask Fish. You know, we go out there, we play hard, play our hearts out, and uh, you know, try to get each other going. Dave said you probably would have gone nuts if he tried to take you out of the game. Would you have gone nuts? I don't know. You know, I respect him and I respect his decisions. But uh, no doubt, I would have wanted the ball. I would have asked to stay in the game. But uh, you know, luckily, it didn't come down to that. How, how tired were you? You didn't look tired. I think adrenaline took over, you know, like I said, throughout the whole game it was pumping, but, uh, you know, I felt it in warm-ups a little bit late, you know, I kind of got a little fatigued, but uh, I managed to uh, keep, you know, keep hitting spots with my pitches, and luckily, you know, they were swinging and missing and swinging and flying out or hitting ground balls. Hey, Eric, how big was it, because uh, you guys had only scored one run for him on the mound in the last two outings, how big was it for you guys to come through, especially you with that big hit there? The yeah, I mean, uh, real big. Trey goes out there and... I mean, you can see the energy out there. I mean, he brings all of us up, and it's always fun getting to play behind him when he's pitching and just getting to get that game-winning run in and, you know, allow him to get the win and, you know, kind of earn what he should have earned, and it was a good thing to do. What, what, what pitch did you hit for the hit on 0-2? It was a low fastball. Is that what you were looking for? Or? No, I just reacted. Were you, Were you surprised, uh, surprised slash irritated uh, that they walked wise in front of you? No, I mean it just gets me, you know, even more excited to get up there and hit. I mean, they're, you know, they wanted me, and so I mean it just made the matchup even better. I mean it just got me a little fired up to go out there and compete. Yeah, Michael, what was it like to help get, you know, some run support for Trey there? To... Well, anytime you can make an impact in the game, it's it's great. Whether it's on defense or offense, just like Trey went out there and gave everything he could the whole inning. You know, uh, from one through nine, he gave all that he could, and that's just the way it's got to be from both sides of the game. You know, everybody went to, uh, from the bottom to the top of the lineup went, gave their all through every AB. You know, and I felt like we did a good job from the start of the lineup to the end at just getting the best possible at bat that we could. So uh, that inning started off with you know Jake taking that that nine pitch strikeout or whatever it was, but he saw all their pitches. That guy, guy's pitch count got up. And luckily, I, you know, I was the one to be in that situation to be able to do so. But I wouldn't be in that situation with the rest of the team not doing what they did. So I remember you jumped on the first pitch. Was that just, <coughs> you'd just seen enough of him to know what, what he was going to do? Or? You know, he, he was he was throwing a lot of fastballs. Um, but in that situation, I just wanted to find a strike and just, you know, let my swing work and, you know. So I guess you could say, yeah, I was just waiting for something over the plate. You guys you hit eight or nine balls hard that, you know, that were not base hits. Was that starting to be a frustration factor or more like, hey, you know, we'll eventually get there? See, the funny thing is it's so hard not to get frustrated. You know, you could ask any of these guys. It's like throwing perfect pitches and you get guys to get these little dink hits. You know what I mean? It's just it's really frustrating, but you got to know that whatever you're doing is the right thing, you know, and you just you just persevere. You, you push through and and hope the next guy behind you can do it. And that's what we did today. I think we did a really good job of, and I think we've grown as a team together and uh, really done a good job of that. So we're trusting the guy behind us to do what, what we did and or what we tried, you know? Did you, were you guys able to easily put behind last night to come out today, especially with some of the, the errors? That were... Yeah, you know, the way that game went, you know, just completely opposite of what we wanted, of course. and. You know, there were some mistakes that were made, and there was there was also a lot of positives. You know, we, we did a good job at the plate, I thought, and uh, we battled a lot of ABs. But, yeah, of course, there were errors made and stuff. So I think that game, more than anything, got us fired up to come out here today and uh, pretty much show these guys that, you know, that, that's not us. And we got a lot more. I guess I didn't see in a box. I don't know how many pitches you threw. I'm sure it was 100-something. Is that the most pitches you've ever thrown? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, I think I got a little over 100 in high school, but... Uh, I think uh, last weekend I was like 104 pitches at Florida, and then this weekend it was a little over 110 maybe. But uh, you know, like I said, adrenaline—you know—just kind of took over. I didn't really feel anything. So 
you speak to those two defensive plays? It's, you know, you the ball drops in the infield, the next thing goes out, foul, and you run over there and catch it, and the leaping grab you made. Just how big those two plays were for you? <clears throat> I mean, they were big for me and for the team. You know, those those got me going. Uh, even though that little fly ball in foul territory wasn't, you know, wasn't an amazing play. It was an out, and I beat the guy. I beat the hitter, so uh, you know that got me going. And then that play where I had to jump up, you know, luckily, I don't know how I was standing very awkwardly, but uh, I got up high enough and was able to snag it, because that's going to be a tough play on Brian right there, coming in, you know, that slow roller, big hop. But uh, you know, I don't know. It just uh, got me going a little bit, and you know, I know it got to, uh, the other t the other guys going. I guess for any Raleigh, how good you guys have been 0-3 in those two to one games, and you lost a lot of other one run games. Just how good it feel to, to finally win a two to one game? It was great. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm just uh, thankful for these guys sitting next to me and the rest of the lineup. You know, for getting the job done. They battled all year. You know, every game, like Bernie said, uh, you know, they battle throughout the lineup from one to nine through the whole game. And uh, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm thankful for these guys. They were able to get the job done, and it's just. You know, all good for them. Can you just talk about the run you're on? I mean, the last three games, 24 innings, only three runs allowed, and I think you have 14 strikeouts in those three games, and just the performance you had on the mound. Um, I mean, there's not much to say, really. All the credit goes to my defense behind me and, you know, the rest of the guys picking me up and the coaches, you know, hanging with me, helping me out, you know, coming in between innings, you know, helping me make adjustments while I'm out there in the game. You know, Coach Jordan's always talking to me. You know, he's always working with me, letting me know, you know, do this, do that, stay extended, you know, downhill plane or something like that. So, uh, I mean, I don't really know what to say about this little run, but uh, I mean, just thanks to, you know, everybody that's out there supporting me, you know, even my family and friends, you know, all of our fans in the stands, uh, you know, they picked us up today a lot and they, you know, they get us going too. Is feeling confident just any pitch you got in your repertoire that's going to work on this run that you're on right now? I guess. Uh, I just go out there and try to make pitches, you know. Um, whether I have the best stuff that day or I don't, you know, if something's not working, resort to something else. Or if I don't have anything working, throw the fastball down and let these uh, infielders and outfielders work for me. The Alabama coach said you did a good job of throwing your breaking ball and fastball counts. Could you talk about that? Yeah, they uh, they had a good approach yesterday. I felt like, uh, you know, they were very good on the outside fastball. And uh, it's tough to beat somebody if you can't get the ball down on the outside corner, especially. And uh, yesterday, I think we struggled with that a little bit. But uh, Coach Jordan always talks about pitching backwards, you know, because a hitter is going to hit to a hitter's count. And if you can somehow get that curveball or slider, whatever you throw over there for a strike and a hitter's count, and maybe have them guessing fastball. You can get a chance to beat them on that one pitch. You know, that's all you can try to do. What, what all did you throw today? Uh, mainly fastball slider and uh, a couple changes, but not many. Eric, you guys have a chance to win the series tomorrow. How important is tomorrow going to be for this team out there? Yeah, I mean it's going to be real big. Uh, anytime you can win the series in the SEC is you know a huge thing. And I mean just to get this performance from Trey today, it you know got the team fired up. I think we're going to be you know, ready, even more fired up tomorrow to go out there and, you know, get a win and, you know, come out winning two to one.